abuse. 1. To mistreat or neglect a person, particularly as to one for whom the actor has special responsibility by virtue of a relationship, for example, spouse, child, elderly parent, or one for whom the actor has undertaken a duty of care, for example, nurse patient. 2. To use an object in an illegal or unreasonable manner. 3. The mental or physical mistreatment of a person, frequently resulting in serious emotional, mental, physical, and or sexual injury. Child abuse 1. The intentional or neglectful abuse, which includes sexual mistreatment, inflicted on a child. 2. A parent or caregiver's intentional or neglectful act or failure to act that results in a child's abuse, exploitation, or death. 3. An act or failure to act that results in a possibility of immediate and serious harm to a child. Elder abuse The abuse of an elderly person by his or her child or caregiver, that may include battery, verbal abuse, isolation and the denial or deprivation of food. Sexual abuse 1. An illegal sexual act. 2. Unlawful sexual activity or contact with a person without her consent. The activity or contact is usually imposed by the use of force or threats of violence. The application of the term varies but it is usually applied to activities or contact that do not amount to rape, but sometimes the term includes rape. Spousal abuse The abuse inflicted on a person by his or her spouse. Abuse excuse a courtroom tactic whereby a criminal defendant claims that mental or physical abuse either explains the defendant's conduct especially in cases involving violence against the alleged abuser, or makes the defendant incapable of telling right from wrong. The phrase is almost exclusively used as a term of derision by those unsympathetic to such claims. Abuse of discretion A trial court or administrative agency's ruling on a matter within its discretion that, in light of the relevant facts and law, is arbitrary, capricious, unconscionable, unfair, unreasonable, or illegal. An appellate court will not reverse a ruling that was within the discretion of the trial court or administrative agency merely because the appellate court would have reached a different decision. Instead, the trial court or administrative agency's decision must be wholly inconsistent with the facts and the law and with any reasonable deductions that can be made therefrom. Abuse of process The tort of beginning or otherwise using the judicial civil or criminal process for an improper purpose. There may be a legitimate basis for instituting or using the judicial process, but the actual intent behind the action is improper. Abuse of right A situation where a state exercises its right in a manner which hampers the rights of other states thus, causing injury to other states. The concept of abuse of rights may look similar to the situation where state acts ultra vires, but there should be no confusion between them because, while acting ultra vires the state had no right to perform the act, while in case of abuse of rights the state acts within its power.